Today, we're going to check out what the world of the W, WF, was like in the year 1991. We're going to take at some of the people that helped to make it such a unique era in the history of the sport. The golden era had ended, and the new generation was still two years away. From stars like Hulk Hogan, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Ted DiBiase, Jake the Snake Roberts, and the Macho Man Randy Savage. The year began the usual way with the 1991 Royal Rumble event, an event that was won by the immortal Hulk Hogan, who would win it for the second year running, having won the match in 1990 as well. It was at this event event that the Ultimate Warrior would lose the World Wrestling Federation Championship to the American Turncoat Sergeant Slaughter. Although the prize for winning the Royal Rumble took you to WrestleMania would not come into effect for another couple of years. It would indeed be Hulk Hogan who would challenge Slaughter at WrestleMania 7. In the build-up to the event, we would see things like Slaughter burn the signature Hulk Hogan shirt. It was due to this type of heat that would make Vince McMahon and the officials of the WWF to move the spectacular event from the Los Angeles Coliseum to the Los Angeles Sports Arena. This was apparently due to the safety of Slaughter and the heat he was getting from the public, although the real reason for the event moving was due to poor ticket sales. The story has been twisted over the years since. Either way, the atmosphere at WrestleMania and the arena cannot be denied. It was a great crowd in attendance on March 24, 1991. It would be Hogan who would walk away from Mania 7 with his third World Wrestling Federation Championship, which was a record at the time. The other big match on the WrestleMania 7 card was the conclusion to the Randy Savage and the Ultimate Warrior feud, a match where both men would put their careers on the line. In my opinion, the match stole the night as both men gave it everything they had. But in the end, it would be the Warrior who would be the victor, bringing an end to the macho man Randy Savage's career, for now at least. It would also have the reunion between Randy Savage and his real-life wife Miss Elizabeth. In an emotional embrace at the end of the match, Elizabeth had been sitting in the crowd during the match and would come into the ring when sensational Sherry turned on Savage after the match. Of course, WrestleMania 7 also included the WrestleMania debut of The Streak as The Undertaker would defeat Superfly Jimmy Snuka, who was already 10 years past his prime. It is a streak that would last all the way to Mania 30 when Taker would lose shockingly to Brock Lesnar. 